I believe you know our guest, Miss Charity Burbage, lover of muggles and all their ways. <laughs> Enough, Nagini. What news? The Order has learned that we have infiltrated the Ministry. They are moving him tonight. There have been too many mistakes where Harry Potter is concerned. Tonight, I will kill Harry Potter in person. Everybody ready? Once we get to the burrow, you'll be safe. And if anyone attacks us on the way, and it's all disguised as you, Death Eaters will never know who the real one is. Hold tight, Harry! Stupid! 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 Stupid!
He's coming round. Harry. Harry, are you all right? What? Where am I? Where's Hagrid? What about Voldemort? It's all right, Harry. Hagrid's fine. And the Order's put protective charms on the burrow. We're safe. For now. I shouldn't be here. I'm putting everyone in danger. Careful! You can't rush after what you've been through. Besides, we can't go anywhere till after the wedding. What wedding? Bill and Fleur. We would have told you, but you've been sort of unconscious. You'd better get ready, mate. You can't expect him to go to the wedding like this. Just take your time, Harry. Make sure you're all right. Ron's right. If I can't go to a wedding, how am I supposed to find the other Horcruxes? Dumbledore's gone. We have to finish what he started. We have to destroy Voldemort. I've been wondering. Voldemort, you know who, hid his soul in Horcruxes, right? And two have been destroyed, right? Do you think he knows that part of him is dead? I don't care. Let's just find the other four and destroy what remains. Can we talk about this later, please? We shouldn't spoil Bill and Fleur's big day. Blimey! Seems Looney runs in the jeans. Who is that? Luna's father, Xenophilius. We should say hello. He supported Harry all through the summer when the Prophet's been ignoring the truth. Besides, it might be the last chance we get to speak to Luna. It's strange, thinking everyone will be back at Hogwarts without us. 
Have we met before? I'm sure I recognize you. No, I don't remember you at all. Hey, Hermione. Let's find Mr. Lovegood. I know. How are your two Hello, Mr. Lovegood. Ah. I trust you know, Mr. Potter, that we at the Quibbler fully supported Dumbledore during his lifetime, and in his death, support you just as fully. Uh, thanks. Is Luna with you? She lingered in that charming little garden. Such a glorious infestation of gnomes. Or, to give them their correct name, the Gernumbly Gardensi. You might want to congratulate Mr. Weasley on them. He was looking for you just now. Thanks. Yeah, I will. Mr. Weasley must be up there. Where do we even start to look for the Horcruxes? We don't even know what they look like. Well, Dumbledore managed to find two. He destroyed the ring and found the locket. Yeah, but that was a fake, wasn't it? But it looked like the real one. Somewhere there's the real locket. The real Horcrux. A friend of mine went to Beau Baton with her. Mr. Weasley, did you want to speak to us? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, I did. You see, it turns out that Dumbledore left you things in his will. Huh. All of us? Yes. To you, Ron. Hmm? He left his Deluminator. Hmm. To Hermione, his copy of the Tales of Beedle the Bard. <laughs> and to you, Harry, he left the snitch you caught in your first Quidditch match. He also left you the sword of Godric Gryffindor. But the Ministry is insisting the sword wasn't Dumbledore's to give away. Not that it matters, because no one can find the sword anyway. Did he say what these were for? I'm afraid he didn't. Now, why don't you pop those up to your rooms and come down to the party? We have a wedding to celebrate, don't we? My mum used to read me the tales of Beedle the Bard. How are children's stories supposed to help us find the Horcruxes? Don't know. Maybe Dumbledore just wanted to cheer us up. Do you think all these things are a clue? Are uh, there supposed to be fireworks before the wedding? The Ministry has sworn. The Minister of Magic is dead. <gasps> they are coming. Don't stand in the open! 
Yeah, 